Well, for me, the reason I chose to join Purple was that it was a tremendous opportunity to help create something useful and necessary in the industry. Security standards are really required. Collaboration amongst uh, a bunch of players is really required. The open source is something I believe in. Plus, I have a love of the MIPS architecture. So for me, it was a natural. Well, I think it should be self-evident to anybody who's paying attention that software solutions for security are not good enough. We spend $77 billion on IT security solutions, and yet we have a trillion dollars worldwide of losses, including stolen IP. So clearly, the existing solutions, the existing traditional solutions aren't working. We need hardware solutions as well. So that's why we're getting together with Purple, with a group of SOC vendors, hardware vendors, security vendors, and so on, to build the standards necessary. What the world should expect from Purple is actually a pervasive, open, secure standard for security across the entire IoT from device to data center. And I would consider it successful as if we had broad participation and any number of vendors participating, but all the way from devices to data centers. The MIPS architecture has some unique attributes for security. First of all, the fact that hardware multi-threading is built into the architecture, the support for hardware virtualization is built in, and it's a small, compact, elegant architecture that delivers the smallest footprint processor and the lowest power. Over the coming months, we expect to see a number of additional parties join Purple. We're inviting people from the carrier world, the ISP world, software vendors, system vendors, tool vendors to participate in our security working group and our open IoT working group, which will be coming soon. If you're interested in joining Purple, contact me directly at art at purplefoundation.org or visit our website, purplefoundation.org. Thanks.